Hey everyone, Honey Badger here at Camp Coloqua, hanging out at the craft house. Uh, I'm really excited for today's project. We are making wind socks. So let's talk about the supplies you're gonna need to make your wind sock. The first thing is paper. I'm gonna use plain white paper for mine, but if you have a heavier paper like cardstock or a tag board, that could work really well too. But construction paper or printer paper is just fine as well. You're also gonna need something to decorate your paper with. I'm gonna use markers for mine, but you could also use crayons, colored pencils, stickers, or anything. Then you're gonna need something to make the tails off your windsock. I'm gonna use tissue paper for mine, but if you had party streamers, that would be really easy because it's already in long strips that you would just need to cut. If you don't have tissue paper or streamers, you could also use fabric, ribbon, or thin paper cut into strips. Then you're also going to need something to hang your windsock from. So I'll be using some hemp string for mine. You're going to need a stapler or glue and a hole punch. So the first thing we're going to do is color our paper. When you're choosing a design to decorate your paper with, you want to make sure it's something that will work in a round shape like this. And you also want to remember to color it landscape meaning the wide way, because when you roll your paper, it's going to go along, rolling along the long edge. So I'm going to do a fish design for my windsock. So I'm going to start with a stripe at the top. And I'm going to put an eyeball right there and an eyeball there. Then I'm going to draw scales all the way down for the body. Now it's time to color it in. Now that we've got our paper all colored, we're going to glue it into a tube. So what you're going to do on the back side of your page is use glue along the short edge. I'm going to use a glue stick, but if you have liquid glue, that would work fine. If you don't have glue, you can also use a stapler to do this. So you're going to do a line of glue just along the edge there. Then you're going to roll your paper into a tube and stick that glued bit to the other end. Just like that. If you're needing it to hold while you're drying it, um, you can 
use um, paper clips or clothes pins to kind of pinch it to hold it in place while it dries. Now while I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the body of my windsock, I'm gonna cut my tissue paper into strips for the tails. I have three full sheets of tissue paper here, um, just stacked on top of each other, and I'm gonna cut them roughly one to two inches in width. So now that I've cut a bunch of strips of tissue paper, I'm gonna glue them along the inside of my windsock. Now that all of the tissue paper or your streamers or ribbon are glued on the inside of your windsock tube, what you wanna do is take a hole punch and punch two holes on the top of your windsock. Your two holes you wanna have on opposite sides because that's what you're going to put your string through in order to hang it. Then you wanna get a piece of string like about an arm's length long, I would say, is plenty. And you're going to put it through the holes and tie it. I'm gonna tie it on each end. Any kind of knot will work fine. And then take the other end thread it through and tie it there. Now, You have a windsock ready to hang outside and blow in the wind. So now you need to hang your windsock somewhere where it will see some wind. Uh, you could put it in the branch of a tree or you could put it on the side of your house and then watch it dance in the breeze like this. Uh, they're a lot of fun to sit and just kind of look at. So thanks so much for making a windsock with me today. I hope you had fun. I know I sure did. I would love to see pictures of your finished uh, projects. So please tag at Camp Coloqua on social media or shoot them to us in an email. Have a great day.